I'm Elise Blink, Managing Editor of the Discover Edge, and we're here at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. Want to know what's green in tech? Let's take a look. This is the place where tech is king. There's no doubt that when it comes to technology, bigger is better and thin is in. But that's not all that consumers and manufacturers are thinking about. When you look at energy used by households, that the slice devoted to home electronics, your TV, your computer, your home fax machine, whatever, that slice is growing and growing. So our CEO, Shane McQuaid, was hiking in the mountains of Spain, and his devices that he carried around ran out of power. And he, was, he said there has to be a better way to be able to um, charge up these devices. So we thought up the solar backpack and actually built it as, as, as an experiment. And uh, turned out this experiment turned into a company that now charges everyone's handheld devices. The typical TV runs six hours a day, and that sucks up a lot of power. Super huge TVs use even more power. What's newer and greener about these TVs? With this television set in front of us, we look at three things. We look at content, ambient light in the room, and the personal setting you choose for your picture. Now in this mode, I am saving a ton of power. And the reason why I'm doing it is because of a little setting right here. Notice the bar on the right side. As the scene changes, the bar will fluctuate, showing the amount of power. See how it comes down here as the scene gets darker? With gas prices going through the roof, what are some greener options for getting around town? This bike is 100% electric. It emits zero emissions. It makes no environmental impact, um, either in the air or uh, for sound. Now, this bike has a top speed of 62 miles an hour. So it's approved for highway use. In fact, it's the world's first electric motorcycle that actually is approved for highway use. It takes about two and a half hours to fully charge the battery. One of the great things is to be able to pull out an eight foot extension cord right out of the back here. And you'll notice here on the end that it's a three prong and it can go into any 110 or 220 volt outlet. It's great to buy greener technology, but what about your old stuff that becomes obsolete? Some well-known manufacturers, like Sony, are trying to make recycling easier for users. Any product with a Sony name on it is covered under our National Take Back Recycling Program, which means we will have a network and an infrastructure for customers not only to mail back their old products, but to have a neighborhood drop-off location throughout the United States. That's, that's the big goal. Uh, and that someday we hope to, if we sell a pound of product, we'll be going to take back and recycle a pound. The message at this year's CES show is clearly to embrace, learn, and love all the cool new gadgets coming down the pike, but also do your part to ensure there'll be enough power to fire up the next generation of tech toys and gadgets. So whether it is switching over to CFLs, uh, whether it is powering down your computer when it's not being used, whether it is looking for the Energy Star label on all new appliances that you buy, these are all steps that a consumer can use. It's true. Even changing one light bulb and conserving a little energy here or there can make a big difference. But what manufacturers here have proven is that going green doesn't mean giving up the wow factor. I'm Elise Glink for Discover Edge, keeping you current and informed. Thanks for joining us.